So you think you are right? Mm. Bring it on, bring it on, prove me wrong. Go put up a fight. Mm. The way I do, way I do will knock you down. You know there's a motion between us. Don't, don't cry about it. Don't... Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So. It's the end of an era for us. It's made the decision with a bit of a heavy heart that unfortunately it's time for Bonnie to move on to pastures new. We, as you know, we love the Bongo. We love her so much. It's been amazing. It's just not big enough. We we want to do so much more. We want to travel Europe. We want to go and spend the odd night. Here, the odd night there, do a load of wild camping. We just can't do it without putting the awning up. Unfortunately, she is now on the way and dropping her off to a new owner. every bit of bad news there's always good so we have put a deposit down on our new van and it's a little bit bigger so yep tuned and I'll uh, we'll show you what we've got it needs a bit of work uh, and when I say a little bit of work it'll work for the time being but we want to have a bit of a play around with the layout and stuff when we can but yeah, see what you think. So you think you are right? Mm -hmm. Bring it on, bring it on, prove me wrong. Go put up a fight. Mm -hmm. The way I do, the way I do will knock you down. You know there's a motion between us. Used to be a motocross van. So look at the size of the garage. It's humongous. But which is great, but for us it isn't. So we've got a Rinai boiler. Hot water boiler in there, which I'll be moving that onto the side wall. What the heck is going on in here? So, day two of the kit out. Let me show you what we did yesterday. Took that down. This is where the double bunks, uh, triple bunks, gonna go. And then the wife give it a bit of a modernisation. So that's what it was. And that is what it is now. I think it looks mint. Obviously we're going to put a new flooring down. We've chosen floor as well. Which is obviously easy because I'm in the trade. So today, what's today's job? Hopefully get that bed out. And get these out. Take the boiler, 
unhook the boiler in the back and the heat source and hopefully I can get all this out if I can get all this out I've got to go pick up the frame for the triple bunk got to go pick that up today uh, pick up my jigsaw and hopefully by the end of the day I can get it all stripped out it's warm just made a start a van conversion during a heat wave. Have a look at this. So I've done so far. So I've taken all this shelving down, removed the boiler safely, obviously. Now, I'm trying to find out how to take this down. I can't see any bloody screws anywhere. So, get around in here. I took that coming out yesterday. That seat's out, so that's where the new kitchen unit is going to go. There. I need to get this bed out. Once I've got this bed out, I can then get this chair out, the seating unit, move the, uh, whatchamacallit, oh, it's hot. can move that. Control panel. Move that control panel. Move the heater from in there. But first, I need to find out how to get this bugger out. I mean, it might just end up being a sledge on the job, but I didn't really want to do that. I cannot see any screws holding it in anywhere. Unless there's some under here. Have a look at that. So I've got a cheap MPPT controller uh, with the smallest solar panel at will, so I just altered a decent one. But the inverter, I've got Alexa plugged in. <laughs> and I know this is the norm for everyone, but we've got an inverter which converts 12 volt to 240 and Alexa works. And then it obviously connects up to a Wi-Fi device. Oh my lord, but yeah, I've got my towel because it's like 30 odd degrees. Oh, <laughs> look at this. Oh, this had like a trim on and there's some screws there. So I'll get this bit off and then take that off and I'm hoping that will come off somehow. So we're getting there. Taking that off so I can fit the bunks in when I get there cut this out and now I need to get that down get that down and then we have one long van what have you been up to wife? now in the bathroom well pretend Tyler in the bathroom I can't see oh it's all white oh oh, oh look at that Bloody lovely is that. Doing a grand job pop. Well we're getting there slowly but surely. I'm hoping again still by end of play today all this is out. And it'll go by a jigsaw. And then I can cut the rest of it out I think. Because the circular saw's a bit dangerous. But I'm trying to do it without taking all the walls off. Proving tough, and I've got sawdust in my eye. Not ideal. And there we go. All out apart from that. Put the laminate up. Get the carpet up next. Clean it all out, and then we start building. Um, well chuffed with how far we've got today. I know it looks a bit messy, but once we get all, all this carpet out and everything out, take about 10 minutes, sweep it out, I'm ready to rock and roll. Oh yeah, for a guy who's crap at DIY, I don't think we've done too bad, and it has been a nightmare as well. What? 
or at Mate Over Road Multi Tool. What a thing that is! So, yeah, this front bit is pretty much done. Kitchen and shower. Right, obviously, it's done that, it's beautiful. So, that from there onwards, we're done. Look at these little boxes. So that's the end of day two. Uh, I've got everything ripped out. My wife's done a tiling, finished a fablon in, uh, got a few bits and bobs. Uh, it was, was an absolute nightmare. Uh, so without taking all the walls off and all the insulation out and everything, I couldn't get the bed out. So what I had to do, uh, with a jigsaw and a circular saw, I had to basically cut it out and then it left about three or four inch all the way around the sides the arches and whatnot uh, and then I think as I mentioned earlier I borrowed a, a multi-tool which were fantastic to be fair they were really fun uh, and then so I've got everything flush all around the side so it looks all right straight down now a few of you are going to say, why don't you just buy an empty van rather than do this, but all those wiring's done, all those water, gas, heater, window, shower, kitchen, everything's all done, inverter, it's all done. So we're just literally changing the layout. So all this will get cleared tomorrow, all up. Hopefully get the... Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, this is what I was showing you. So yeah, I had to leave that in because I couldn't get to where it was screwed into without taking all the wall panelling and everything off. And obviously the insulation and everything. So that would have been like starting again. So this that multi tool just got me absolutely flush. Look at that. Filthy brilliant. And again, I'm crap at DIY. Or I was. And I'm getting there. Oh so yeah. Uh, we're having like stick on tiles. Like a 3D effect. All the way on that side. Uh, maybe a grey colour on that side and then white on this side. Uh, yeah, I took the boiler out. That uh, Chris from Chris and Heather Van Life's going to come and help me. We're going to put a bend in there and then mount the boiler there and cover it off. Uh, yeah, so tomorrow, plan clean it all out. Sweep it all out and then start building the bunks. Still need to figure out what we're doing here for another kitchen unit. I've got a worktop. Oh shit, I was supposed to collect that today. Uh, but I've got a worktop to collect. Yes, yeah, so I've got a worktop to collect. But I don't have a bunk to put it on. So a couple of kitchen units, but I don't want to come out, go deeper than 40. So. If you can drop a comment on some some kind of kitchen carcass or something along them lines, sideboard something like that, but I don't want it more than uh, more than forty centimetre depth really, uh, and then I'll put the work, work top on top of that. Uh, but yeah, day two done. So hopefully this. I know it's different to us normal vlogs, but hopefully it might inspire a few folk to, even if you don't have the greatest DIY skills or, or in the world, like me, you can learn. Old dogs can learn new tricks, so if you can give us a thumbs up, give us a like, drop a comment down below if you think I'm doing it wrong, or any tips, that's brilliant. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. 
because it means a lot when you subscribe, it really does. And what's the other one? Oh, ding a ling a ling a ling a ling a ling a ling. Ring that bell. So, day two over and out. Go steady.